Salutations! Welcome to another episode from the Tales of Cartoonia. So, as you might have guessed, today I want to make a place for the cows. Those thingies, the one I just punched is that one I believe, but whatever. No, nope, it's that one. Still running. Probably forever will. Until we exit the area. So, uh, in the meantime, not a lot has happened. Just added this floor. I can't remember if I changed up these stairs. I believe I did. To add some extra color. More color. Uh, actually, they're just to hide those. So lightning in there is also just fine and dandy. Great. So I also brought back the flower. So, that's all very good and all. Let's grab some wood so we can get starting on the place for our cows. And I will start off off camera, I think. At least the general layout, like I usually do. So, I'll see you then. Alright, so I picked this spot close to the chickens and actually really close to the wood farm as well, which is uh, acceptable I suppose. This is going to be the main building, well if you want to call it that. Just where the chests and the entrance are going to be. So not too special. And it's designed a little bit like the way we house our cows. No, our horses. <laughs> Oops. Uh, but of course it has to be a little bit different but the chest of it is going to be this repeating pattern and not over there to be honest uh, da -da -da -da. over here why does that matter well this main building is going to stick out a bit on those two sides and going to be too uh, corridor like paths that way and that way so one that way one that way and those are this wide and why that is it's going to be a lot clearer once you put some down so let me start by doing that Alright, just a little update on the progress. This is the all too familiar frame. I'm going to fill in the walls also off camera because they're probably going to be identical to that one. As far as the layout is concerned, we have this square, which is our main building. We have one branch here, a little branch over here that takes a turn over there. So that's the general layout and as soon as I have these walls filled in I'll be right back. Alright the wall is almost done. Uh, I did change it up a little bit on the main building uh, compared to this where it's oak on top there is birch on top. Also added these wooden buttons because I think they would look cool. Well actually I, I just I actually made an entire stack of them and want to use them somehow. Anyway, continuing on, as you can see I am continuing my quest to add a little bit of color, yellow to be specific, to this area. Uh, I, especially from the outside looks cool, from the inside not as much, but there's going to be cows and stuff inside so that will cover it up for the most part, or at least make it look less uh, flat. So that's how you make those. And let's get inside. Of course you still need the beams and everything. So far from done. But the walls are standing. I have to put water in here to make this an actual door. Actually we might as well. There's water right here. And three. There we go. Get out of my inventory again. 
So, I am right now growing new birch wood because I'm running out. I've been using this chest as a supply chest. I won't be needing this for a little while. Um, well, I'm going to show what I have in mind for the floor. So we have this and not that. And this is going to be a repeating pattern in that hallway as well. This like so. And the cows are actually going to be where the wheat is at. Which is kind of ironic considering they eat wheat to breed. And like this. And like this. And uh, no. And of course it's going to be mirrored down this line. And it has to be dug out and everything and etc. etc. So I just have this, it's very simple. There's going to be a wooden fence here. Actually here. And actually that there's all to it. The cow shall be in there. And if I am not mistaken, this cow should be able to breed with this cow even though there's a fence there. If I am mistaken, well, I wouldn't say I'd cry, but I wouldn't be very pleased either. It looks like I'm going to need a lot more uh, wheat of hay bales, which means I have to farm that thing again, which is a nightmare one, so I'll try to finish the floor, and I guess I'll be back with you then. Ta-da! Well, that took an awful lot of work, I must say. Uh, well, but at least the floor is in, so that's good. And the next part will be the roof. Well, not really a roof, but, you know, it's going to be a bit different again, because if I would make heads, uh, those things at every of these columns, that would not look so good. So I'm going for a different approach. First these things, which will make a lot more sense in a little while. To do them on this side as well. So up until now, I think it is seven or eight minutes of video about, but there's been uh, roughly two to three hours of work just gathering all the materials like the hay and placing and replacing and so yeah oh I do not have yet all the components yet like me um well, you could use those might as well you'll see don't worry, don't worry. So we'll have these uh, supports. Let's see, like this. Yeah. And then that. Ouch. Like this. All the way up. And then we'll have one of those larger beams grow all the way across. So that's the idea. Let's get started. Well, we already started, but let's continue. <laughs> yeah. Um, you might wonder if you're doing a lot like this, you might as blimey, might as well do a time lapse. Well, I would like to, but if you just use a time lapse, uh, that would be bit boring because you, to make a time lapse a little bit interesting you add music but when you do add music the chances are very big that someone will just sue you and they will say oh you have uh, some content in your video that's not allowed so hand it over 
Eh. I don't want to. See that one that doesn't belong. So it's a content ID, whatever you might call it. Uh, problem, trouble, annoyance, thingy. Otherwise, I would do time lapses. I did them once, a long time ago. In actually, a previous series uh, from my first time on the server. And yeah, that one actually got uh, blocked because I used music. True enough, th the music was just ordinary music, not sp specially. I did. There, there's a, there's kind, two kinds of music. Those companies do not want you to use, and the ones you can use freely. A lot of YouTubers uh, have either a contract or something, or use free music that's known to be free. But even besides the fact that I'm not entirely sure which one that is, uh, even those get blocked sometimes, saying, you know, you should pay fees for this, even though it's completely free. So. There's a lot of troubles trying to get some music into your videos. There's also the reason why uh, for a long time I have turned off the music of Minecraft, Minecraft itself. Because I got the idea that just the Minecraft music would also get the... Oh, blimey, the last one. Would also get the video blocked. But I'm not entirely sure about that. But as you hear the music now that should be proof if it will pose a problem or not well technically the, the video won't be blocked to be honest um, however it is impossible to monetize it and if ever I might you know get more and more people that watch my videos I would like to get some income from that, preferably. And if it's blocked for some ambiguous reason, that's impossible. So that's the reason of that. And apart from that, well, I could try to make my own music, but uh, you know, I bet you that even if I made my own music and used that, it would get blocked. But yeah, what can you do against it? Not much, really. Especially, you know, if you have absolutely no followers or whatever. Well, I have some, but it's not like I have a huge posse. Me. It's night almost. Yep. Uh, this one was one more, I believe. Yeah. I'm actually referring to um, something in my mind. Duh. Be beware. Uh, because I actually, for once, this design. I did it before in creative. So round of applause or not. But when I did it in creative, I made these two uh, this whole design. Sometimes you just lose words, at least I do. But I did not think about that center building. So I still have no idea what to do with that probably something up in the sky like all the other buildings have well except the forge but that's a really 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 small building but I'm not entirely sure yet so uh, about the design we have those two just to do something with the area here could not do those because they require that one and that's part of the wall over there also to allow me to give a sturdy support because you know this, this is okay, it supports it a bit, but it keeps it from falling down, but not from 
it's falling sideways so that's where these ends are for and yes I know that's not a problem in Minecraft it's not going to you know blow or anything blow no not what I wanted to say um, not going to be heavy winds that's more like it but you know I like to think about stuff like that just technically because I can because you know when you're building especially in Minecraft uh, there's no real gravity or stuff like that you don't have to be realistic with your structures have I ever mentioned how much I hate this scroll wheel um, you really easily get into the uh, mode of you know this looks cool let's let's do that and then you stand back and look at it and you're thinking somehow it feels wrong but why well if things are too unrealistic your mind will know and you know that sounds a bit weird because I purposely said it weird. Do I have more stairs? Oh, yes. Um, but y your mind will know. So somewhere inside your brain, there's a alarm going off that says this isn't right, and that actually makes you like the building less. At least that's my experience. Now, <laughs> it's different for everyone, but. I think that that's actually I think that goes for most people to be honest how many times I'm going to do this wrong but just like I said everybody minds is searching for symmetry and there have been people telling me well that's not really true I don't uh, of course, I'm not in, not in a position to say you're lying, but still, I, I, I honestly believe that some things everybody minds just once. Although, some people will have it more than others. For example, that your mind wants symmetry. There are people that don't mind asymmetry asymmetry so no symmetry at all they like it but it will catch their attention it draws them to it so, hey there's no symmetry that they actually like that well it's a different story but it does does <laughs> does draw the attention of your brain and likewise the, the uh, bit of realism that that also soothes your brain if you're going for an unrealistic build then <laughs> by all means go unrealistic as much as you can but if it's not your where does this button come from oh that's the column I tore out but if that's not your purpose if you're just building something without the actual intention of making it very unrealistic or fantasy style whatever you want to uh, call it oh, I need new stairs anyway then that has a chance to fire hi zombie eh. come on ow I don't like knockback Ooh, boots. Uh, just boots. I think I need some extra armor for uh, And there's not a bed in sight. Do I still have dark wood? Oh dear. <laughs> uh oh. Well. This could go better. Sploosh. Sploosh. Since when does it make that sound? Huh. 
let me just run in here and sleep. <laughs> so they will go away, they will burn. Hopefully, at least the majority of them. And I'll finish those supports, uh, those with the beam across, and I'll see you then. Well, supports are in, as you can see. This side as well. Forgot that one, I also placed that. Added all these, so it's ready for the cows. Let's try to get some of them in. <laughs> that will kill them. <laughs> Just know it. It shouldn't, but it will. If I'm not mistaken, there should be cows. Uh, more horses than cows. Oh, that was a whole flock of them. Where did it go? Oh, um, hi. Guys, girls, whatever. Did I just lose one? <sighs> Come on. Come on. That is a good girl. Yeah. Oh, no. I'll round them up. I'll be right back. Alright, we're almost there. Mm. A bunch of them. Not all of them. I've lost them on the way. But I see one got over, away over there. Almost punched the cow right in the face. Mm. Come in. Come in. Now I need to get them in there. Yeah. Um, can you go in? Marvelous! Wow! And you? Smashing! It's going... Uh, I wanted to say it's going better than I thought. And it actually still is. I hope you're inside. Next one! Alright. I still haven't tested if it actually works the way I want to, but let's get as many cows in as possible. If you're thinking all I see is cow, yeah. Same goes for me. And almost. <laughs> Being pushed in by a comrade. And get out of the way. Don't accidentally want to feed them. They won't follow me for a little while. Get in there. Come on. Nope. Come on. You can do it. Or uh, maybe not. Um, yeah, I think I'll do the remaining cows off camera. Aha! Alright, that's a whole lot of them. Let's see if this works. Feed you and you. Make a baby. Yes, it works. So as soon as that baby grows up, I'll transport him into one of these other dens, pens, whatever. And as soon as I have them all filled, I can start slaying them. So the idea is, this way, two of them will breed, a calf will be born, and I'll kill the adult or wait until the calf has grown, either one of those options. And that will sure I will always have the same amount of cows. So, uh, yeah, when it comes to this part, I'm still completely unsure what to do. So I'll have to wait until the next episode. Um, let's fix this. I'm not going to get any more external cows, so to speak. So, let's fill that in. And we'll call it an episode. Right so. My name's Kutosel. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a like. And I hope to see you again next time.